Today I'm going to tell you how we saved our egg-bound chicken's life. I'm going to start from the top. Signs and symptoms that you should look for. How do you know your chicken's egg-bound? Well, my first key was the day before she was in the nest box. I walked into the coop. She was laying her egg. I know which egg all my chickens lay. So that by the end of the day when we collected the eggs, I noticed no egg from Mary. She was in the nest box. Why wasn't there an egg from her? Day two. I walk out to the coop in the morning. I was actually out there a little earlier than normal. So I let all the chickens out in the morning, throw them their morning scratch, normal routine. She didn't come out of the coop. I didn't think much of it at the time because there was a couple chickens still on the roost bar just hanging out and I was like, I'm here normal than earlier. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why she's not as excited to run out with the others. There's still a couple others in here. Still didn't think anything of it. Fast forward an hour later, I go back outside to check on my girls and I noticed that she was standing under the waterer area with two other chickens and she, she just didn't look right. She looked hunched up, a sign to look for, tail down. If your chicken has her tail down, looks hunched, neck shriveled, she just, she just looked sick. She turns and it almost looked like a molting chicken. Her whole butt looked like naked, it was swollen. You could see the pink of her skin and she was pushing. It looked like she was trying to lay an egg. She was pushing and TMI, but poo was oozing out of her vent. I was like, I, I've heard about this. It's never happened to me before. I've been raising chickens 30 years. Even my parents have been raising chickens since they were in their 60s. Never even heard of it, but I've heard of it because of Facebook groups, egg bound. I knew it right away. So I catch her. We take her to the sink. We rinse off the poo and I cut away some of her feathers that are in the way to get it really clean. We start examining her. We could feel the whole egg. The whole egg was just her vents here and then we were feeling right low, kind of the bottom of her belly. You could feel the whole outline of an egg. We ran a warm bath, not too hot, not too cold. I didn't check the temperature, but it just seemed right. I added Epsom salts into the bath. We put her in the bathtub and we soaked her for about 10 minutes. Ricardo held her wings down, and then what I did was, I could feel the egg. We faced her, her butt towards us in the bathtub. I could feel the egg, and very gently, do not squeeze. If you break the egg, that is very dangerous. Very gently, I cannot utter that enough. Gently, I squeezed, almost pinched on the outside of her body, the bottom of her abdomen. I like kind of pinched her skin, and it pushed the egg up in line with her vent. And this is where it gets crazy. She started pushing, like it was like a water birth, like in labor, and she would groan loud, like, uh, she was pushing. She would push and then take a break, like contractions. And then I still held it up. I'm, I'm telling you, my arm was getting tired. I held it there and she pushed and she groaned and she, she wheezed and then she would rest. After about seven contractions, it almost looked like she was prolapsing. We could see the egg little by little as it started progressing. We could see it crowning and we were like, oh, we're so close, so close. And my arm was going numb, but she kept pushing and taking a break. And then we'd wait and she'd push again. And then we could see the egg and then she laid it in the water, fell to the bottom of the tub. We felt like midwives, like a live water birth. She laid the egg in the tub and we were like, oh my God. I don't know if it was more traumatizing for us or her, but that's a reason we didn't actually film it because we were so worried about our chicken's life that we didn't think to pick up a camera and take photos or evidence of it all because it took four hands, him holding the wings down, me holding the egg up, and we were just trying to save our baby girl's life. So she laid a hard shell egg in the tub. It was kind of a large egg. It had poop on it, it was in the bottom of the water, it, it looked nasty, we threw it out. So we think it's over. She laid the egg. We pick her up out of the tub in her bathroom and we put her in a towel. I wrap her up and I start trying to dry her and then as I'm drying her off, she stands really tall, starts making the pushing groaning sound again, tail down. And while I was drying her in the towel, I couldn't see because I had her all bundled up. I remove the towel and I look and she laid a second egg in the towel as I'm drying her. It was like a leather soft shell egg. The yolk was actually on the outside of it. It was, it was quite nasty. So we had to get another towel and um, we're, we're drying her up, cleaning her off. And at this point we're like, okay, I hope that's it. Two eggs, wow, you know, like, 
And that's where this gets really important. If you have an egg pound hen, you need to treat immediately. It can be fatal within 48 hours, especially if they cannot poop. That's actually why it could be so fatal because if the egg is blocking feces, they could go toxic and die. It can be very fatal within 48 hours. You need to act fast. So we think that it's over. We ended up, I didn't want to just release her out there. She almost like when a woman just gives birth, she was still kind of swollen. It looked like she had like a pooch, her, she was swollen. So we put her in a hospital pen that we have to monitor for a few days. We kept her in there for a few days and she went back up to her normal self, super spry, normal, high energy, eating lots, drinking lots of water, completely normal. And she didn't lay an egg for like another five days, but now she's been laying an egg every day like normal. It took a while for her swelling to go down, maybe a few days, but now you can't even see the flesh of her bottom anymore. It's all black feathers covered again because she was swollen at the times, but now she looks like her normal skinny self. She's kind of a littler hen <laughs> and she's got black feathers everywhere. So this story could have gone very differently because there are different experiences for everybody. We are lucky that we could feel and see the whole outside of the egg. Some people say they can't even feel an egg and their hen mysteriously dies days later. Some people say the egg is cracked inside them and that's very, very, very bad. You need to remove every piece of shell. You need to get the complete egg yolk out of there. Some people use a needleless syringe, suck it out. You KY lube, lubrication, scent free, just plain KY to put their fingers in there, get it out. I don't know how the story would have gone if it was any other scenario. We were lucky that we could feel the hole outside of the egg. I don't know what would happen if we couldn't have felt the egg or if the egg was cracked inside her. But these are our situation, our scenario. Everybody's may vary, but all I know is you need to act fast. And this, what I think is very rare. She's an older hen. That could be why maybe this happened, but, and, my 30 years of raising chicken, I've never had this happen to me. So I hope it never happens to you. But if it does, please do your research, act fast. Our chickens are beloved pets to us. And whether they're pets to you or livestock, you still need to have constant eyes on them and monitor them so you know their normal behavior. Or if something's wrong, then you'll know if they're sick and you can act fast. Because especially with egg binding and chickens, Acting fast is crucial if you want to save their life. I hope this video helps you. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. We would love to help. Go ahead and subscribe for future informative videos we post weekly. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.